an honor for me to attend the 12th meeting of the Council of Ministers of the Indian Ocean Rim Association for Regional Cooperation on behalf of the Chinese government. Let me extend warm congratulations on the 15th anniversary of the IORARC and to the, the Union of Comoros for its joining to the organization. I'd also like to convey our sincere gratitude to the Indian government and the coordination secretariat of the association for their hard work for this meeting and warm hospitality to all the delegates. The 15 years of the IORARC's evolution has demonstrated the strong aspirations of the Indian Ocean Rim countries to seek development through unity and prosperity through cooperation. Since its establishment in 1997, the IORARC as the sole economic cooperation organization of the region has been steadily promoting institutional building, actively pu pushing forward cooperation between the member states in trade and investment liberalization, science and technology, culture, infrastructure, and other fields, and continuously strengthening coordination and cooperation between its member states in international and regional affairs. It has become a stabilizer for peace and security and a boost for prosperity and development in the Indian Ocean Rim region. Today, the underlying impact of the international financial crisis continues to haunt us. Countries are experiencing economic slowdown and the downward risks in the global economy are not to be underestimated. At the same time, intertwining conventional and non-conventional security factors and the persisting hotspot issues are bringing new challenges to world peace and development. With an important geographic location and dis distinctive advantages in resources, market and culture, bigger role in the international arena. The members and the dialogue partners of the IORARC should make full use of the effective platform provided by the association to actively cope with various security challenges, enhance economic and trade cooperation, resolutely oppose protectionism in all its forms with concrete action, upgrade trade and investment facilitation, build a more open and free regional trading system and uh, contribute more to peace and the prosperity of the region and the early and the steady recovery of the world economy. Ladies and gentlemen, since becoming a dialogue partner of the IORARC in January 2000, China has enjoyed a growing friendly relations with the association and its members. In recent years, trade between China and IORC members has shown a dynamic momentum. In 2009, 2010, and 2011, the two-way trade accounted for 15.7%, 16.4%, and 17.3% respectively, respectively of China's total foreign trade and reached 633 billion U.S. dollars in 2011, registering a year-on-year -year growth of 30 percent. China is having FTA talks with many IORARC members, which will further contribute to a more open and liberal regional trading system. In the field of science and technology, China is seeking cooperation with IORARC members in fields such as desalination of brackish seawater and wastewater treatment through the IORARC Center for Science and Technology Transfer. Besides, 
China has sent 12 naval fleets to the waters of the Somali coast on escort missions and carried out cooperation with some IORARC members in fighting piracy in order to safeguard the security of the shipping lanes in the Indian Ocean. China respects the purposes of the IORARC, supports its goals and six priorities in cooperation, and is ready to work with its members and other dialogue partners to further strengthen communication and cooperation in different fields. I'd like to take this opportunity to announce on behalf of the Chinese government that the Chinese side has decided to contribute another hundred of thousands US dollars to the IOR ARC to, uh, on the occasion of its 15th anniversary as a way to express our support to the association and sincere wish to deepen mutually beneficial cooperation with the association and its members. We hope this contribution will facilitate the development of the association and the smooth implementation of its cooperation projects. To conclude, I wish the 12th Council of Ministers meeting a complete success. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>